it scares me because I was on a team. I was on a team that was went into season number three in the nation, and uh, we went down to Palo Alto, and a guy named John Elway chewed us up and spit us out. It uh, you listen, and then you and you hear. I mean, the BYU obviously. You know the thought of losing to them, and you boy, you listen to their coaches and you listen to their players, and you talk about selling out their soul for one game. Uh, the, these guys are going; it's going to be a real fight. And I mean, they and they think they can win because they said, "Hey, we were up 20 points last year and we lost the game." And a lot of them are saying we deserve to win that game. Well, you didn't deserve to win the game because you didn't do it, but. Uh, that, that's scary. There's a, there's a lot at it. You're going to get probably BYU's best game of the season right off the bat. So you're scared about B- that. So all this hype and all this preseason stuff has you nervous about the BYU game or in general? Uh, well, in general, a little bit, but BYU particularly because I think it's a real it's a real potential trap in the in the first first game of the season and and. Uh, and BYU's got a good football team. They they are they have got a quarterback who is anytime you have a quarterback, you know you're dangerous. And uh, I mean Utah has got a they've got to be on top of their game when they go down there. If there's any any variation from that, things could get bad in a hurry. Yeah, but but here's what I'd say, John. And John P is with us. I, I don't like to disagree with you, but I, I don't know that anybody overlooks a first game, especially against a rival. To me, you'd be more likely to overlook a game like Idaho State if it was the first game than you would against BYU. Your entire offseason's pointed at that particular game being the first game of the season. I could see if it was the second or third game, maybe. But when it's the first, I don't, how do you overlook a first game of the season? You, you, you hear about all the wonderful things you are, how cute you are, how, how many uh, All-American teams you're selected for. Uh, how you have, you have a can't miss, um, you know, group of, of defensive players, which I, I think will be the key to the game. The two defenses, uh, how they play, will be absolutely critical in the game. I, I don't think BYU is beating Utah, but I mean, I, I I think they could. But my point is, it's the first game. Everything you do in the off season points to that particular game, and I know that you're going to get a lot of hype, and you're being on an All American team and things like that but it's still the first time you take the field, and it's a road game. To me, it's hard to overlook road games, especially first games of the year that are road games. I, I, I absolutely agree with that. I agree with that. My, my, you know, my only trepidation is, is the things that you hear day after day after day that's coming out of them, and they are going to be motivated like crazy for that game. John Pease with us here on the Bill Riley Show today on Utah's number one sports talk, ESPN 700. So, um, injured players. Britton Covey's coming back from a knee injury. Uh, Tyler Huntley's coming back from a collarbone injury. Uh, Zach Moss is coming back in, in ways from a knee injury of sorts, too, though not as serious as Covey's injury. You mentioned BYU. Their quarterback, he's coming off a shoulder injury, the right. guy that you've talked about so much. Um, Generally, your star players don't take many hits, especially offensive star players in camp. Tyler Huntley and Zach Wilson probably not going to get hit much at all. They're going to manage the load of a guy like uh, a guy like uh, Zach Moss, or yeah, Zach Moss. And then we don't know when Britton Covey's going to. He may not practice much in the fall before that game. His goal is to get back by that first game. Is there any concern when you go into those games that some really key players, especially for Utah, won't have taken many, if any, hits coming off injuries? I think it's a major, major concern. Uh, not, see, not only with Britton, Bill, is, is his ability, which is a slot receiver, which is the man that commands the middle of the field in the passing game. Uh, you, they, they, they very often say serious injuries – take a year to totally heal and another year mentally to heal. So those guys have got, got some work to do. Um, Britton, I, 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 well, I've talked about him so much. He, I think he's the bell cow. I think if he comes out, makes a few catches and, and stays under control and the quarterback can keep from getting hurt, I think that will be very important. Um, and get Zach where he just has some – 
has enough runs to get his confidence. I think those would be kind of little keys you want to do. You want to see Covey get better. You want to see uh, Zach, you know, uh, feel better. And you want to see how they're handling uh, Tyler. I think those will be three things that I will be watching early. I suspect the offensive line will be fine. I think they'll, I think they'll have a do a good job. And I think the defense overall will be very good. Uh, you get a couple of new guys in there, but but they're gonna they'll they'll blend in real quickly. I think. See, I, I will say this, and again, I'll di- disagree just slightly with you. I don't think Britain is the key. I think he's very good and is a nice component of their offense. But to me, it's getting Zach Moss and Tyler Huntley going. It's getting Zach back and rolling downhill again. It's getting Tyler comfortable again coming. I just think Utah's got so many talented wide receivers. They may not have a Michael Pittman or a LaVisca Chenault, but I've said all along, they got a lot of BB plus guys. They may not have a lot of AA minus right. guys, but they've got about eight or nine guys that are BB plus wide receivers. And I think Britain's in that category too. To me, if you get Zach Moss rolling and he gets a few touches and starts going downhill, that opens everything up for everybody else. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I mean, absolutely agree with you. My my concern, and, and and as you know how I am, I am very concerned with the mentality and the you know the the stability and the, the leadership, and I think uh, and you know I I see in Britain. Players look to him a lot. I, I, I absolutely agree with you about the about Hundley and Moss. If they get the running game going, it's great. But I think I think Brian uh, gives you uh, excuse me, Brittany. Sweet God, Britain gives you the, the character element, and I think and I've always I am an absolute believer in character. Guys, that when the pressure gets on, everybody in the team looks down the looks down the huddle and sees Britton Covey say, okay, it's third and 10 and we need this first down. Who is going to make the play? And uh, I, I, I'm i I'm so much that way, and I'm probably way too much that way, believing in the character of, of great football players. Uh, but I'm always going to be that way, and I'll always, I'll always go with those kind of players. Here's what I will say. Tyler Huntley might be the most popular kid on the team. Zach Moss right there with him on the offensive side of the football. Both those guys chose to come back. Right. On the defensive side, you've got Julian Blackman and Jalen Johnson and Leckie Foe, too. These are all guys that are leadership guys that have chosen to come back to play to Utah. I think a lot of people will look to those guys. I think it, I think you're absolutely right, and I think that's a real character that they haven't chosen to get in the, what, the portal or the <laughs> this other. But one more, one more I guess what Harbaugh – says every player should have one chance, one chance a year, to one time in their career to transfer. Just give the kids one chance, more chance to quit. And those kids aren't going to quit. You're going to see Hundley and Moss and Covey and Brad and I and Lecky. Those guys are going to fight to the last dog is it. I don't worry about those guys at all. Uh, we are two days away from Pac-12 Media Day and, of course, nine days away from Camp Kyle beginning. And before we know it, John, the season will be here in 38 days. How fun. How fun. Let's let's quit yakking and put a ball down and snap it. 